Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. So, I said I was going to be doing a statue haul, or not haul, but you know, collection video. Um, I was hoping to do that prior to classes starting back. Uh, and I just finished my first week of classes, so obviously that didn't happen. So what I think I'm going to do to save time, you're, you're still getting the statue collection, but the reason why this is part one is because I'm going to be going room by room. So there's going to be about three parts. I have four rooms where I keep statues, but two of them don't have that many in it, so I'm going to combine those two. Um, but yeah, so this is obviously, you can tell that's my background. So this is the room that has the majority of my collection in it. It doesn't have the majority of my statues, um, except, well, the bombshells might outnumber <laughs> the others. I don't honestly know. But um, I'm going to start with these. Now, I actually did... Uh, show these on my channel a long time ago uh, but I looked about a month ago and you can tell how early it was that I put this video out because it only has like eight views on it but they're little uh, Nightmare Before Christmas fairies they're ceramic so they are statues um, but yeah they're all fairies that are based after a Nightmare Before Christmas character and they're all holding a little plush these things were expensive, but, uh, my fam, I'm sorry, you guys aren't seeing, um, but yeah, you can see Zero, there's Sally, trying to maneuver the camera so you guys can see their faces, and there's Oogie Boogie, and it's all on this base here, so, I actually found those in TV Guide, believe it or not, uh, yeah, <laughs> the Hamilton collection apparently but yeah there there are there is a video where I show all these uh, in detail I do have some more on the other side of the room that we're gonna see here in a second uh, but if you want a closer look at those there is a video you just have to hunt for it I might put a link to it I don't know yet so all of the world's finest collection I keep in the boxes because I don't have a place to really display them unfortunately but <coughs> And I'm sorry if the view gets really weird, but uh, I'm trying to look around the camera and do stuff at the same time, but yeah. So Flash, Superman, and I'm sorry for the glare, uh, Batman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg is right there, and then Joker. <coughs> and I do have all the Cryptozoic ones are still in the boxes until I get a shelf to properly display them. Hot Topic exclusive, Metallic Harley Quinn. This is, I believe, it says Global Holidays exclusive. I'm, was this the one? Yeah, Platinum Edition. This one was at Toys R Us. I got it right before it closed. So DC Bombshell, Wonder Woman, uh, Cryptozoic. Then I got the regular Bombshell Harley Quinn. This was the first one uh, I found. I found it while on vacation. The first Cryptozoic statue I found. And here's the thing. I thought they were this small. <laughs> I thought they were this small, um, but I found that on vacation. I was like, "Oh, no wonder they're forty bucks." So, <laughs> yeah, f found that out the hard way. But anyway, so I got this statue of, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to block, not block out the light at the same time. But this uh, Team Rocket statue. I don't know why they have the base facing that way. Sorry, it's not focusing, but um, there it goes. I don't know why they had the base facing the other way, because if you put it the other way, you wouldn't be able to see Jesse or Wobbuffet. So, I mean, Wobbuffet you could. He's he's not attached to the base. He's just sat there, but still. I don't... Again, sorry for the angle, because I'm looking beyond the camera, but... I, I love that figure of Jesse, and they do have a lot of other uh, statues. I can't think of the name of this company right now. If I remember, it, I'll put it in the video. But, yeah, I I just don't understand the base. I love the figure. Don't understand the base. So there are the other ones that I have. They do have more of those fairies. But there's a Lock, Shock, and Barrel right there. They're in that other video as well. Har uh, Harley Quinn Bombshell Halloween Edition for uh, the bombshells. Which was on my channel before. Back here we have two 
My Little Ponies. I do count these as statues because there are, are solid pieces. So we have Princess Celestia and Nightmare Moon. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm into My Little Pony. <laughs> Up here, we have the only... Let me just go ahead and grab this one. It. have the only Yu-Gi-Oh! statue. I got this at a con a few years ago. So here is Yugi. You can tell this came out for the movie. But yeah. Her, his eyes look very... Can I focus? Very closely related to Yugi here. Instead of just being Yami, it looks almost like he's tra in the middle of transitioning from Yugi to Yami. So I don't really like the eyes too much, but everything else on here is really cool. Still needs the dual disc. I'm, I'm obsessed with that dual disc. I don't know. I'm obsessed with that dual disc of getting it. <laughs> Somehow getting it into a figure. But anyway, so we come over here and we have the deluxe Wonder Woman bombshell statue. The first official statue that was uh, shown on my channel. Next to her we have the Hula Girl uh, Harley Quinn. I'm pretty sure this was Cryptozoic. <laughs> Too, and I knocked over the statue or the stickers but it doesn't have the name of the company on the bottom but uh, this one you know those little uh, dashboard hula girls yeah that's what they were trying to emulate and the stickers are falling over and ruining right, get stickers get out of there right. but yeah it's like a bobblehead but with the hips instead it's weird anyway just put yeah, Harley just sold the statue or the stickers. Two of the anime kami statues that I've shown. And by the way, guys, if you see any statues you really like uh, that I haven't done a review on yet, put it in the comments. I might. Like, if there's ever a time where I don't have that many videos and I feel like doing one, I might grab a statue and do a review. So there's Donna Troy. There's Artemis. I did end up just putting the uh sword right by her feet there because you can't hold it because they designed it weird but anyway so here is the harley quinn deluxe bombshell one of the best that they've ever made in my opinion i mean look at that oh uh, it's beautiful and it still has the little uh batman charm on the gun it's really cool and in here, you can see the Wolverine and Jubilee figures. Now, let me know what you guys think. I count these as somewhere in between a statue and a figure. You know, they're not action figures because they're not posable. But they're not necessarily statues because they're definitely made of just, you know, just regular plastic. And you can, you put them together like the, the torso came separate from the... Uh, waist, but you know, I don't know. I count them as somewhere in between. So they're in the statue video. <laughs> but yeah, this this Harley is probably one of my favorite statues. Period. I mean, just the detail in the bomb itself. Ah, uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> so next, yep. Last but not least. We got all the bombshell stuff. So I got crap in the floor. Hang on. Let me move that aside. So hopefully y'all can see them without me blocking too much of the light. So we have the... I might have to do this in stages. Hmm. I should have planned this out more thoroughly. Uh, but let's go ahead and get through the first row here. Let me... Uh, I'm getting eye level with the statue so I can show them off better. So here is the first Harley Quinn that they came out with. She is beautiful. Uh, I I love the pose. The little bombshells are in the way. <laughs> but that's how I display them. So uh, I was trying to think if this was... I know it's not my first one. I know what my first one was. This may have been my second. I can't remember precisely. But it was definitely one of the first ones I've gotten. And like the uh, Deluxe, it does have the uh, Batman charm, which I think is always a cute touch with the Harley one. So here's Ivy. You see she has these vines that wrap into a heart. 
uh, and that's cute. But when you look at them, you notice this blank space up here because they made this one so short. So I don't like that part about it. And I kind of wish there was more color oops, to the flower. Don't worry, guys. This is all magnetized. So I didn't break it. <laughs> it's just magnetized in there into the base. So I wish there was more color on the flowers. But Ivy herself looks amazing. I love how the vines on her sleeves look like tattoos. And there's even like a Batman tattoo on her sleeve, actually. And then a little butterfly on that one. It's really cute. Then we have the Holiday Harley Quinn. This, the Holiday bombshells stay out all year round. I don't care. So, I don't know if this is going to be out before or after. I uh, put where I have the pop of this version now, but you can see this one does still have the, oops, sorry, this one does still have the Batman charm, it's just not loose anymore, it's molded on, and she has Santa's uh, toy sack instead of her pop gun. Yeah, I really need to learn how to film these a lot better. <laughs> uh, you can see her Christmas makeup, candy cane. She's dressed up for Christmas, that's for sure. And so this one, next one, is Mira. By the way, they're all, most of them, are lined up to who they were closest to in the series. Because I read the Bombshell series. So she's next to Wonder Woman because the two of them were first loves. But anyway, so the necklace is a loose piece of plastic, as is the trident. Every time you move this thing, this thing falls out. So I'm just gonna get it out of the way now. So <laughs> there is Mira. Oh, I love the sculpting on each of these faces. They're beautiful. Because they definitely got it spot on. And she is one of the few that have, as long as I have this, I'm gonna use it as a pointer. Has an addition to their base. They all have these same metal rivety bases. But Mira has like this little sand castle that she's standing next to. This little uh, shawl thing she's wearing is slightly translucent. I think it's meant to me look like sandy in color. So it looks really cool. And of course she has her big floppy uh, hat. Yeah. And then, move this thing out of my way again. <laughs> uh, I got Wonder Woman here. Wonder Woman, hers is the only face I don't really like. It's got way too much excitement to it. <laughs> like, she is really happy to be busting apart these chains here. I mean, she is really happy to be doing that. But <laughs> that's why I like the uh, deluxe version a lot better. But, you know, it's a pretty simple design. This was another one of the first ones that they came out of, came out with. But I think the simplicity of it is still very beautiful. And I think that's what partially makes it beautiful. Like I said, she's just a little bit too happy. Just a little bit too happy. I love, I love the designs though on her gauntlets. That's awesome. And the deluxe one does have that one too. And again, here is the holiday uh, Wonder Woman. Now, if you notice with both Wonder Woman and Harley, the suit isn't just paint, it's metallic paint. So all the red and green is metallic. So that's kind of cool. And she's busting apart uh, Christmas lights instead of uh, chains on this one but still other than the um, Christmas lights it's the exact same mold and now <laughs> on to my favorite this one is sorry this yeah I just sat down on the floor because my knees were hurting <laughs> this one is hot girl hot girl is my favorite character period no matter what I love her you can see the translucent jetpack backpack she's got uh, with the wings attached. This is beautiful. She still has her emblem right there on her shoulder. It's awesome. Those eyes on the helmet look amazing. Oh man. I could stare at this one for hours. <laughs> I could. And she's standing right next to Vixen, who. In the comics, they were a couple. 
So, and I love that touch. If you knew, if you read, if you've seen Justice League Unlimited, you know why they did this. So, uh, screw you, John. So, anyway, so she looks beautiful. All this like glitter that they glued on, and it doesn't fall off, guys. This glitter, it's it's on there good. It's not coming off anytime soon. Oh my gosh, this one is definitely beautiful. It's it's just plain beautiful. Look at the claws. For Vixen, she still has her talisman. It's part of her dress instead of her, um, you know, necklace. She's got shoes. <laughs> She's got her high heel shoes. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, let me move these out of the way and then we'll do the back part. So, hold on a sec. Okay, guys, so here we have Lois Lane. Now, her, her is... People complain it's too simple. Like, it doesn't scream Lois Lane. Lois Lane doesn't have, like, a big symbol on her chest like Superman, okay? <laughs> She's holding a newspaper, okay? They got the nameplate on. What else do you want? So, the newspaper is definitely my favorite out of here. Because you can see there's a picture of Supergirl on there. It says, by Lois Lane. You can read that. So, it's Daily Planet. It's awesome. Now, her expression I'm okay with. Because, you know, you know, in all those old, like, World War II movies, you have that little boy at the corner, like, yelling, extra, extra, read all about it. That's like she's doing right there. So, it's tying it back to the newspaper theme for her. So, I like it. What can you say? I like it. I don't care who says what. I have to move all these bombshells out of the way. <laughs> all these little bombshells out of the way. So, I might have to do some editing in this video that I don't want to do. Don't hit the newspaper. Okay, so remember when I said I remembered what my first bombshell statue was? You're looking at her. So there is Supergirl. I'll never forget it. These things have just started coming out, and I wanted them so bad, but I hadn't paid that much money for a statue yet when I was collecting. And um, I was at Hastings one day, obviously before they shut down, and I looked up, and at the very top sitting on top of the display cabinet was her and I fell in love so love at first sight but anyway so she does have the Supergirl S it, it looks more reminiscent of the original Superman shield than it does the current one but that makes sense uh, Superman was created in 38 so and this obviously took place like in the 40s the storyline so I think she looks awesome um, I understand the pose I understand. I don't like it. Because just when I was saying, I may have, I don't think I'm going to edit it out, but that I was about to hit the newspaper. I don't think her arms band, or sorry, you guys didn't even see that, hit the newspaper. Her arms band doesn't need to be that large, but whatever. Anyway, let me move her back. Hey. Yeah, one of the bombshells fell. I have to get that later. <laughs> one of the little bombshells fell behind the dresser, but I can get that later. Uh, come on, 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 come on. We're bringing back girl with us. But anyway. I am so professional at this, can y'all tell? So, so Lois Lane was sitting next to Supergirl because, uh, if you don't know, this story is all about lesbians. <laughs> I don't care who says what, that's what the story is really about. It's about lesbians in the World War, World War Two. So instead of being with Superman, Lois Lane was with Supergirl, and Stargirl was actually uh, Supergirl's uh, adopted sister, and I thought that kind of made sense. So, because you know the patriotic aspect. So she has this little star and stripe tattoo almost going on. That's really cool. I like it when they put sta put tats on these things. So her design, again, pretty simple. She has her star staff. Okay right out of the comics. She has her star staff. She has her boots with the stars on the side. This one, out of all the older ones, this was the last one for me to get. Um, a lot of them came out pretty early and pretty close together. Um, but I never could find her. And I never could find her online either. Finally, I found her, uh, I believe it was actually the very first con I ever went to. So that's kind of cool. So let's move her back. I'm going to have to rearrange all these things later. 
Make sure they all go back in place. Y'all are getting a good look at that wood. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, we got Batgirl. Batgirl, who's supposed to look like a World War II uh, pilot, as you can see from the glare. Her goggles are real. Uh, I love the beauty mark that they put on there, because a lot of the, you know, female mo movie stars of that era had that beauty mark on her, on their face. So, she has a pierced uh, belly button, which I thought is really cool detail. Her has that emblem on her belt, and if you look to the back, just like on the pop, she does have her backpack. And I thought there was a emblem on here, but I guess not. I guess I... I guess I made that part up, but that's where her cape is coming out of, so that's always cool. Okay, let me rearrange again. Oops. <laughs> let me rearrange again, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I got to where I can get to the last three on this uh, table. So we have Bloody Batgirl. This is Batgirl in her vampire form. And as you can see, she looks a lot like, you know, she doesn't... The head sculpt is definitely different. Her hair is more reminiscent of her... Uh, Batgirl cowl, but other than that, the body is pretty much the exact same sculpt, except if I can turn it around, it did, did, did. it's running into some of the minis. <coughs> That's where I got the emblem from because it's on the coffin. So, this is a com coffin shaped uh, backpack that I thought was an awesome detail. So, <laughs> and again, for I said this when I reviewed the uh, Harley Quinn Holiday Pop, Bombshell Pop, 2019 Halloween, this is the pop I want. <laughs> this is the pop I want. Next to her, we have Canary. Now, I put Canary with Batgirls uh, just because th those two usually team up in the comics. Uh, not, not in the Bombshell comics, but in the Birds of Prey, you know, they're on the same team. So this one, I don't know if you guys can see it that well, uh, but it's a stuff. It's a tattoo, and she it has the name Oliver on it because you know she's with uh, Green Arrow, and she has this microphone in her hand because she's a singer. Um, and, and this was a character, a very classic character, and in the Bombshell series, they made her a transgender woman, which I thought was amazing. <laughs> I was like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Making such a huge character and giving, you know, DC Bombshells was the kind of comic where you could get away with doing that kind of thing, of making drastic changes like that to characters. And I think that was perfect. I was so glad that they chose Canary for that part because she's very popular, she's very sexual, and I was just so happy that they decided to make her a transgender woman to show that transgender women can be like that. A lot of people have a lot of bad stereotypes in their head, and I hate them. Anyway, so here is Catwoman, of course, with a cat on her shoulder. She has a Cruella de Vil cigarette in her hand. She's meant to look, you can see the charm for Batman sneaking in. I think she's supposed to look a little bit sort of like a saloon girl with that thing in her hair. I don't know. She's somewhere between a saloon girl and a businesswoman from that era. And she's sitting on this stool, which you can't see with the little bombshell in the way. And that's why a lot of people don't like her, for the same reason I'm pointing out with Poison Ivy. Yeah, it just doesn't look as well. That's why I got her sitting back here in a corner. So, and I had to put the Gotham girls together, so... Yeah, the sirens are all kind of there to with each other. So, let me put this shelf back in order and we'll go to the next half of the bombshell uh, collection. So remember when I said that there's going, I want to have a bombshell shelf put in? Uh, yeah, that ain't happened yet, but it's going to go right here uh, when it does. <laughs> I always forget about that until I'm staring right at it. When we first moved into this house, they didn't have any hot girl posters, so I just printed off a big picture of hot girl on a regular sheet of computer paper and stuck it to the wall, and it's been there ever since. So <laughs> that thing's been there for over a decade. But anyway, so here's the rest of the uh, bombshells now. Usually Raven isn't sitting out here all by herself. Um, what I was planning on doing until I get my shelf put in, hopefully it'll be soon, <laughs> but before I was thinking about getting a shelf, just keep lining it up with them, keep 
um, producing them and just putting them in the center. So I had Raven next year, Satana. But as you can see, I got the car sitting here right now, which I did post these on uh, Instagram for anyone who wants to get a better look at them. But it's sitting right here next to the stove, and I wanted to make it a little bit further from them, just in case, just in case. The, the plastic hasn't gotten hot enough to melt, but I'm still worried for it. The, this room isn't connected to the rest of the heating and cooling in the house, so it's winter. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to try and move these into the light as best as I can for you guys. I may have to shut it off and put the light on the camera on. Off point. You can't say in person it's fine, but in the camera I see you guys are getting a really bad uh, glare. But, uh, oh, okay, that's a little bit better. How it focus and it's a little bit better. So here is Raven. I usually have her next to Zatanna because Zatanna kind of adopts her in the series. So there's Raven. She doesn't have that jewel on her forehead, but she does have one right here on her uh, cloak. As you can see, she has like this translucent ball of energy with her. Now she is uh, standing on her cape, so it gives that like levitating effect. And the bombshell, I forgot to mention, but the the fishnet stockings are actual cloth. You can see it moving when I touch it. So yeah, that's actual cloth that they used for it. There's like a little shimmer to her cape to again add to the magical effect of Raven. I love the design for her face on this one. The facial sculpt is beautiful. And those eyes, just like on the little one, red as can be. I love it. <laughs> okay, so let's move Raven out of the way. Let's see if I can lean over. Do you see it? Satana? Yeah, Satana looks great. So it has, um, I believe that's Mistress, yeah, Mistress of Magic, written backwards, because, you know, that's how her powers are activated, her magic powers. She still has a top hat, just a little bit different. <laughs> she has her magician wand. She has her little corset that makes her look like she's an assistant. Uh, more like an assistant from one of the older uh, magic acts. Uh, ten points for anyone who can name the bunny. The cigarette is a good um, hint. And it's got that smoke effect in the background, similar to uh, Raven, Raven's powers. It does end by itself. It's not connected to the actual statue. I don't know if I can get my lens in there enough to see, and I don't want to move them anymore. Because this, this you can see here, it's kind of uneven. So, because this was handmade, it's it's sturdy as heck, but it's uneven. So I don't really want to move them too much. This one, Bumblebee. I was so torn whether I was going to get this one or not. Because I wanted all the bombshells and I love Bumblebee, especially in DC Superhero Girls. I love Bumblebee. She, you can tell she's supposed to be a cheerleader. But the only thing that's supporting her is that steel peg right there. So you can tell there's nothing else holding her up at all. And that scared me. Like, I knew what would, you know, take away from the effect, but you couldn't have at least put two of them there, DC. But anyway, so I try not to move this one around very much at all. Love the hair sculpting for this one. Uh, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. She just scares me with that one peg. So, yeah, see? You touch it a little bit and it just starts to shake. I don't know if you guys can tell, but, uh, so this, um, this was the first regular... Uh, statue I uh, reviewed or bombshell statue I reviewed on the channel so I'm not going to go into too much detail about this one since it's already there I did put Joker beside her so there's that here is Katana oh man Katana looks awesome <laughs> Katana always looks awesome I remember what she's in she has her sword of course I like how they made her outfit like ripped here it's a really really neat effect and again tattoo she has a dragon tattoo this thing is, uh, I don't know, I know there's a word for these talismans, but I don't know them. But you can tell, it's like a little face. <laughs> it's really cute. There's the dragon tattoo. Oops, sorry, my hand went up around the camera. And it's, she's standing on this like little 
the zombified helmet. <laughs> uh, I guess that's who she like last defeated. So pretty, uh, pretty badass, honestly. <laughs> really bad. Okay. Now this one. This one I have a whole different problem with. So the skates are hooked to her fingers. The, these skates can't come off. They're just you know hooked onto her finger right there. And the flash looks awesome. Don't get me wrong. I love the pants. Obviously, she's, um, sorry, get this one again out of the way. She's barefoot because she's holding her skates. Uh, you can still see that little smoke like she was still running. Really cool. Here's my problem with it. Hey, come on. Yeah, there we go. Now, it's magnetic, guys. It's not, it's supposed to come off. So, over there, see that thing right there? That is a book... The Art of the DC Bombshells, okay? And in that book, it says that on this whipped cream, on this milkshake here, the artist put his daughter's name in the whipped cream. I think it was Myla, M-I-L-A. I've taken flashlights to this. I've taken magnifying glass to this. I cannot find that name. Because <laughs> I got curious, you know, after after they said that, I got curious. And I, I took it out and I looked all over. I still can't find it. So if y'all have that statue, have this statue... See if you can figure it out. <laughs> Tell me exactly where it is. So I can finally find it. Okay, so. This one I'm going to have to move to get to Killer Frost. But here is Kate Kane. A.K.A. Batwoman. So. Her. Yeah, obviously this is the front. You can tell from the thing. So she's supposed to be looking like past her so shoulder. And I like that because you can definitely see her piercing green eyes like that. I think that's awesome. She has the bat emblem on the side of her cape. Or the side of her bat, rather. She has the bat woman written on her uh, bat. Gotham Knights 52. Really, really cool. And a lot of these guys, they're making um, color variants for soon. So if you don't have these or you think they're too expensive, keep an eye out. Because they are coming out with um, new looks for them. And Batwoman's one of them. So here's Killer Frost. So she's on skis. And those skis are separate parts. They're not attached to the base and they're not attached to her. So getting them in there is a little bit tricky. But it can't be done. So here are the little ski poles. I don't know what they're called. But anyway, it took me forever. About three months after I had this statue, I realized I put the skis in backwards. So I had to take it all apart again. That was probably my... <laughs> why I had so much difficulty getting it together in the first place. I had to take it all apart again and redo it to make it uh, the right way. So she has these snowflake earrings that look really cute. Okay. I put together the words cool and cute. <laughs> She's got that sweater on and a skirt. She looks beautiful. Here we have Cheetah piercing yellow eyes. You know, obviously she's supposed to be dressed like she's on safari. That little rope around her neck is loose, you can tell. She has a little dagger on, she has a camera with her. So the only cheetah on her is a little bit on her shirt, right at her bust, and then her belt, this little sash she has that's supposed to mimic her tail. But other than that, she just looks like she's on safari. And I like that they made the little one with the camera as well. That's really cute. But yeah, honestly, with design, it's super simple. But it's one of my favorites because of it. Now, favorite design. As much as I love my hot girl, I'm mad to go with this girl here. So this was the first one I got prior, or the last one I got prior to me um, starting my channel. Let me go ahead and scoot this one a little bit. If I can, you know. No, I can't do it. Not without putting the camera down again. I don't want to. But you can see here. She's dressed as a firefighter. She's got a bucket of water. And she's trying to put out her own hair. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is so ingenious. I showed this to my comic book guy when I first uh, ordered it. And it was the first time he'd seen it. And he's like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And I'm like, right? <laughs> so he and I were kind of like nerding out over this statue a little bit together. Because, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. 
And again, 52, you know, they're going to sneak that 52 in there. Any chance they can, sorry about the camera. Her eyes are perfect. If you know Starfire, she usually has eyes like that. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. So this one is the last one y'all have seen. This is um, the Jessica Cruz uh, crosswalk guard, cross guard, whatever, crossing guard, that's it. Uh, with the uh, tribal cones. Now, this is when I notice how people you know, don't watch all the video, which I understand. Not everyone has the time to watch the entire video. But in the thumbnail, I wrote, I hope it's not, or please don't be broken. Because last one I got, the uh, lamppost there was broken. And I think a lot of people just watched the video far enough for me to take it out. And then they clicked off. Because <laughs> they were putting in the comment section, oh, I'm so glad it's not broken. It was. I didn't notice it till the end of the video. But her thumb and three of her fingers were actually broken off. But I did super glue them back on. So, only one person commented that they that they were sorry that it was actually broken. But, and again, I'm not blaming people for not watching the whole video. I totally understand, but it's kind of funny at the same time. But yeah, I think her style and Starfires go a lot, go, go together a lot. And so that's why I put them together. Uh, Batwoman and... Uh, Cheetah's storyline kind of went together in this series. And I told you why I put Raven and Satana together. Let's see if I can slide her back with... Now I'm going to have to... Ash. I knew that was going to happen. It was okay. Just the base came off. Or just the nameplate. There we go. These are all magnetic. Some of them, the earlier ones, do not have the magnetic to them. I can't remember who... Okay, one of them's Harley. This one doesn't come off this. Yeah. Okay, this one needs to go back into its little magnet thing. <laughs> uh, but I'll do that later because I'm knocking everything else over. But anyway. And these two are a couple and that's why I put them in there. So, when it comes to the studio <laughs> room, that's all the statues. I have no idea how long this video is. I know it's long enough for me to be sweating. <laughs> Because standing right next to that stove is hot. But, so there will be a room tour coming out eventually where you guys get to see all this in more detail. But, I don't know why I came over here. It's cooler, I guess. But anyway, so again, if there's any statues y'all lacked, uh, go ahead and put it in the comment section. And again, one day, if I'm short on videos and Funko has like a lull in pops, in pops, in pops that I want... I'll grab a statue and review it and make a video. So, anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for Oh, I forgot about the Hikaris. Forgot about the Hikaris. So, I got three Hikaris. Two, I think I only got three. Two of them are here Inferno, uh, Maleficent. I do consider these statues, by the way. And the Glow in the Dark uh, Megazord. In my Glow in the Dark videos, if you look closely in the background, you can see this guy glowing um, when I turn off the lights. But anyway. <laughs> Again, thank you all so much for watching. Remember, it's a community non-competition, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.